drive-ins today. Uh, um, well, I don't know what we're gonna do after. Well, I think we're in, gonna eat hamburgers like Isaac said. But um, yeah, bye. Okay, this is Isaac and uh, bye. I'm not gonna film anymore. Bye. So, Minnie just had her calf. She's the one that we bought, so she's on this wrong cycle that she gives birth in the summer. Last year she gave birth the end of July and that's the calf that got attacked by maggots. I'm prepared for fly strike on this calf as well. And what I don't like is that she's just mooing, she's not licking it dry. And that's the reason also, not just that it was born in the summer, but that she's not good at licking the calf. Not good maternal instincts. You can see that right now. She's just mooing. She wants to be with the herd instead of. I just opened up um, a little bit more of the pasture so that the cattle would go there and not bother her. But she wants to go with the cattle, even though the calf was just born. She's not licking it, and that is when the mother's not doing a good job, what really opens up the door for fly strike, for example. So you can see here if you film that, uh, Mini is just now heading over here to the herd, and the calf is laying down here. Okay, you guys need to stay here. I'm gonna carefully go to the cop. You guys stay here by mama. Do you wanna take the camera? Or no. no. Why does the camera? Why does she not care? He's Mimi. Look, Mimi is my. What? Mm. I think. Mm. Well, Mimi likes me. See that? Yeah. Yeah. Papa. Papa. So I wanted to give Mini another chance this year, see if she would give birth a little bit earlier. It is a little bit earlier and not early enough. Wanted her to give a chance to prove that she can take care of her calf well and that she won't be as aggressive. But what I see now is she is not licking the calf. She is aggressive towards me, which might calm down in a couple days, but th that doesn't help anything if she's not licking the calf. The calf is completely soaked still. The other cows lick them completely dry all the time. Um, this is just nothing I want to pass on. So out of the three cows that I bought into the herd last year, one didn't get a calf and I, uh, we, we slaughtered her. Linda got sick, so we'll take her away most likely. And she had the calf with maggots and is not taking care of it. Now she's going away again. So it was not a good buy. And we'll, we'll have to eventually get rid of all those cows again. Isn't she kind of calling her calf to come? Yeah, but the calf is newborn. The calf hasn't even stood up yet. She needs to stay there. She needs to lick it. She needs to make sure it stands up. The licking not just only dries the calf, it also stimulates yeah, it to stand up, awesome. to drink, to nurse, and she's not Hobby. not doing that right Hobby. now. So I'm just gonna have all the kids and my family go because I'm the one who spends the most time with the cows. Just gonna give her some time. Uh, she's just calling the calf, but the calf is not there yet. The calf hasn't even stood up yet, hasn't nursed yet. Um, even in nature, 
the instinct should not be move with the herd but stay with the cow sep calf separate from the herd for a for a few hours or a day or something and then catch up to the herd uh, this is yeah that's typical and you know there are so many people who are always talking about you know saving the calf and I will save the calf there's no doubt about that you know we will do what we can because we both lose profit and that's just what we do but we will not breed with these not with Linda either because in nature both Lucky would have died, Linda would have died, the calf from Mini last year would have died and that calf would have died and it's us humans intervening and saving those calves for breeding which causes bad genetics and which causes poor poor breeding material for the future it makes you know it makes the breeds and the animals that we have more and more sensitive towards sicknesses and towards parasites and, and, and um, worms all that stuff you can see that really in goats when people start treating livestock like pets it's bad for the livestock so this is just a classical example of something that you should radically you know get rid of so you don't pass this on because that is what nature would do that is the cruelty of nature but actually what makes sure that they survive now you can see here nicely where I'm grazing the cows right now I just moved them there and you can see clearly where they were yesterday see a big big difference in the rotational grazing there I'm quite disappointed and quite upset at Mini that she is acting like this just leaving her newborn calf completely wet still with skin and slime on her there um, she's torn between going to the herd and she's trying to call it but she's not ready to be called yet she needs to have be licked I can't go near the calf right now Mini would attack me and kill me so and now probably have some people again at some point you should have separated her from the herd put her into a put her into a coral or something sure I can do that but the thing is my flock my not flock my herd my fold gives birth when they're out on pasture that's what I want to do that's what these animals naturally do and again you can intervene and you can do lots of things that are more labor-intensive and that actually weaken the genetics and the survival of the breed I'm sure you can disagree with that and argue with that and I have the option of separating her now taking the calf build up a coral all of that we'll have to see if I'll have to do that but again I want to have the right kind of material that works how it has worked naturally for thousands of years that works the best for me the smoothest for me and for the operation that I want to do otherwise both your time and your profit is gone just observing this right now makes me realize why the calf got fly strike last year and why this calf will get fly strike again most likely not as not bad because I will right away take care of it but she's she's barely licking it she's mainly smelling it now she's licking it a little bit but I saw it covered in flies and don't worry I'll be going to the calf very soon checking on it making sure the calf won't suffer see that's the difference between the wildlife and the farmer and while in the wild animals starve to death we've never had an animal starve to death on our farm in the wildlife these would just die be eaten by predators we had a storm the other day a windstorm that knocked lots of young birds out of their nests could drive along the road and see these little baby birds lay on the street and nature is brutal you know these folks who are always against 
eating animals and they don't get the concept of being good stewards and respecting the life and then taking it to eat it well everything dies and and the wildlife is by far more brutal now she's actually taking care of it a little better as soon as the mommy comes and licks it the calf is stimulated to stand up that's why it's so important now she's licking it, that's very nice. I hope that this will work out naturally. Hey Bella. How are you doing girl? You like the new spot of land you got? With all the food on it? I don't think that she has even had her afterbirth come out yet. I think that'll be stimulated once the calf starts nursing. She should be licking it so much more. I just, from here, I see the flies just all around it. Come on, girl, lick it dry. I know Bella here right next to me. When she gets her calf, her calf is dry within minutes because she just licks it and pulls off all the skin from the sack she was in just does an amazing job and Bella has given birth to two heifers which is what we will breed with in nature she would give birth this time of the year none of these calves would survive and that means that her genetics would die out. They would not spread. Go ahead, Manny. Prove me wrong. Go ahead. Prove me wrong and lick her clean. Lick her dry. Take away those flies. Come on, Manny. Good job. Prove me wrong, please. Look who's coming and visiting me. Hey, lucky girl. Hey, lucky girl. Come on, girl. that kind of guy. <laughs> no, don't chew my... It's, I know it's green, but it's not grass. I know it's green, but it's... it's oh. stay here until the calf has nursed and gotten the colostrum because after that usually the calves they're like a new creature they're so weak and tipsy and everything before and as soon as they get their colostrum they are like the strongest animals in the world kind of thing and so that calf will then wander off probably through the fence which is turned off right now lucky let me film here okay She'll probably wander off and lay down somewhere away from the herd. Goodness me, girl. What is going on here? Hey, smile for the camera. Smile. Okay. And so she'll wander off and lay down somewhere. And that's when I want to go to her. So I need to know where she'll be. Hey, you're not camera shy, are you? You're not camera shy. You want to be on okay? camera. Are you a model? What are you, girl? A supermodel? Yeah, she's doing much better now. Lucky has been hanging out with me here. 
why don't you go to to the one who actually feeds you? Yeah, the, the kids have been feeding Lucky. How's that been, Isaac? Uh, gross. It has been gross feeding her? What? She drools all over. She drools all over. Oh man, they're worse th <laughs> They're worse things than a little calf drool. Right? Right, Lucky? <laughs> she wants to play with you, buddy. When she play wants to play, play, she jumps. She wants to play with you. She has four legs to run on. That's a bit faster, wouldn't you say? Hey, girl, you are faster than Isaac. I have goats. Go one more time. Oh. It's nice, the people like it who are watching the video. Come on, boys. Go, 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 go. go. Not yet. She needs to add a few more pounds for that. Football! You were faster. You won. I think she likes the cow on your shirt. We should make a... When these guys were running, she wasn't running with them, but when Isaac started running, that's when she got wild. <laughs> there, the there she is now going into the tall grass with her. With the cup? Yep. Cup is, cup is up and walking well, but hasn't gotten the boat yet. Put like shark. Sure.